Hey, what's up, mortals? It's Tosca here. And before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank the supporters on Patreon. Their support means a lot. A link to the Patreon will be in the description, as well as a link to the Discord group chat, where you can talk to me and many other mortals like yourself. There are quite a few people there already. It will be an awesome community if other people join us, such as yourself. Before the story begins, let's do a recap. Naruto has learned and mastered the Rasengan, and knows how to use the Rasen Shuriken, but can't use it, sadly, because it destroys the chakra points in his arm. Jiraiya depressingly was killed by his own student, who we know as Pain. Naruto is training with Sage Frogs to learn and master the Sage Jutsu. Naruto is still a Genin. While the rest of his friends are tuning and joning, Tsunade is still the Hokage and Kakashi has his Mangekyo Sharingan. And now the story begins. Naruto comes back from his training with the Sage Frog and has finally learned how to control the Sage Form as well as mastering Rasen Shuriken. He sees that the Leaf Village has been razed to the ground and is under siege with most of the Leaf Shinobi wiped out. The fight start is normal. Naruto fights the six paths of pain by first crushing the king of demons with the Rasengan. Then he goes on to trap the summoner in a giant toad's mouth and ambushes him with the dual Rasengan barrage. After he defeats the summoner, he goes on to use the same dual Rasengan barrage on the king of hell, Pain. Soon after that, Ninjendo Pain, also known as the human path, which can suck the souls out of Shinobi, grabs him from behind and starts stealing Naruto's chakra. During that moment, Naruto remembered what the Toad said about what happens if someone has absorbed too much nature chakra and can't control it. Naruto then goes on sending out nature chakra into pain and eventually Naruto defeats him by turning him into a stone frog. At this point, Naruto has a finite amount of chakra left and recklessly starts to fight the path of Tendo. The fight goes on as normal. Nagato pins Naruto down with chakra rods. Before Nata comes in to try to save Naruto, Nagato starts to explain the eyes. These eyes I have, Naruto. They can bring peace to all of the nations. Why try to stop me? Naruto says pleadingly, because the way you're doing things is wrong. Nagato, confused, says, how so? I can bring peace by stopping all war, by controlling the tailed beast power. I can level entire villages and lift anything I want. Naruto, still pleading, says that's not the way to peace. The way to peace is to help each other and make sure we're all happy and prosperous. Nagato laughs as if he was mocking Naruto. We're supposed to help each other, you say. How has that worked so far for the shinobi world so far? Only thing I've seen from your idea of peace is more war, nothing but death. Before Nagato could say more, Hanata jumps in to try and save Naruto. Hanata is fighting on the behalf of Naruto, and Naruto is begging her to stop and run while she still can. Hanata refuses. Naruto crying out says, Hanata, run, please, don't do this. Why? Why are you trying to save me? Hanata continues to be beaten over and over again, breaking the chakra rods holding down Naruto. Eventually, she has no chakra left and is fighting on sheer willpower, and finally replies. Hanata finally complete, happy, because Naruto, that's my ninja way. Hanata then gets lifted into the air and drops from 1,000 feet. Hanata returns back, falling, gracefully. Naruto thinks she's dead. In that moment, Naruto transforms in the Six Tails out of pure rage. Kyuubi Naruto starts easily destroying the last pain with the enormous power sourced by the Six Tail Kyuubi form. At this point, pain is almost out of chakra, so he uses his most powerful jutsu, Planetary Devastation. Naruto is getting forced into the jutsu because of the amount of gravity it has. He then loses any sort of sanity and transforms into the 8th tail form, almost letting the QB take absolute control of him. 
everything goes dark, and Naruto appears in the chamber holding the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails starts to trick Naruto into removing the seals. The Nine Tails said, schemingly, Naruto, I can save her. Move this seal, and I'll finish this. Naruto, completely out of it, starts to remove the seal, holding the QB at bay. Right before Naruto completely removes the seal, someone comes out of nowhere and punches Naruto in the face, sending him flying backwards to keep him away from the seal. Naruto in the QB cage regains senses and realizes that it's the fourth Hokage. The fourth Hokage explains to him that the seal keeping the QB at bay was infused with some of his chakra in case the Ninetales ever took over. Minato says happily to finally meet his son, Naruto. My name is Minato, the fourth Hokage. Naruto confusingly asks, the fourth Hokage, why are you here? Minato says, I'm here because I'm your father, Naruto. Put some of my chakra into the seal in case the QB ever acted up and tried to take control. Naruto then starts beating his father to a pulp. Minato just stands there and takes it. Right as Naruto is about to throw his last punch, Minato hugs him and says, I know, son, I'm sorry. I did this to you, but it was the only way to keep the village safe. Naruto angry but still somewhat calm. The village? Really? You destroyed your own son for your village? Minato doesn't know how to respond and just stands there silently embarrassed. He finally finds the right words to say and responds with, Naruto, what are you fighting for right now? Naruto realizing what he's fighting for is the village. Minato happy says, exactly my son, now go save it, says Minato with a smile on his face. Everything goes dark as Naruto is struggling to contain the Ninetales. He keeps fighting back, but nothing is working. But then he hears Hinata. Hinata cries out, Naruto, come back. Come back to us. Save us. N realizing Hinata wasn't dead, Naruto starts to remember all his friends, and all the times they have helped him, and all the promises he had made. Naruto now starts fighting back hard. The Ninetale doesn't like this. The Ninetales tries to stab Naruto with his paw like he did to Minato and Kushina, but realizes that what QB was trying to do and starts to form a Rasengan. Right before the Ninetales hits Naruto, Naruto uses his Rasengan to block the attack. Minato, as a last act, silences the Ninetales and disappears. Naruto then regains all control and subdues the QB form back deep into himself. Naruto then gets the upper hand and defeats the final pain. Pain tells him to go to the tree. Naruto listens and goes to the tree and sees Nagato dying. Nagato says confused, Naruto, why try to stop me? I want to bring peace to all of the shinobi. Naruto replies with, You don't bring peace by destroying villages, Nagato. You only breed hatred and vengeance. Nagato now starts to see his actions were wrong and asked Naruto to carry out his will in peace. He explains to Naruto that he wanted to help people, and that's why he formed the Akatsuki. Not to help, but to create peace. Nagato apologetically says, Naruto, please take my eyes. They can give you the power to stop Madara. They can give you the power to bring peace with these. You could do what I was never able to. Naruto says, Nagato, I shouldn't have those eyes. Jiraiya would have wanted you to have those to the end. They do not belong to me. Nagato persistently says, Naruto, I need you to take my eyes. If you don't, they will fall into the wrong hands and will be used as a weapon. Naruto says, what do you mean, as a weapon? Nagato says, there is a man known as Tobi. He has a Sharingan, and I think he's been trying to steal my eyes. Take them, please, and keep them safe. Naruto reluctantly says, I don't know, Nagato, those eyes, they should be destroyed if they are that powerful. Nagato says, no, don't, please, you will need them for the coming war. Use them to destroy Tobi. He can enact his plan. Naruto says, alright, I'll take them. I'll use them for peace. Naruto implants the Renegon into himself, so no one can take them. But before he does, Nagato restores the people of the leaf back to health. Naruto, the village hero, not only restores the people, but also rebuilds the village using all 1,000 clones that he can create in a single day. 
anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, mortals, peace out. This video is brought to you by our beautiful sponsor, BeautifulHalo.com. Take out whatever your heart desires. Hoodies, shirts, pants, and even jackets. They have it all. We would all like to, we all would like to wear some nice clothing, right? Well, Beautiful Halo is the perfect place for that. They have apparel in the styles of many well-favorited animes such as JoJo, Dragon Ball, Black Clover, One Punch Man, and My Hero Academia. They even have they have they have with many more items to choose from. If you're like the one percent who personally hates anime or just aren't into it despite being on this channel, then they've got you covered too, with a bunch of stuff for cartoons, movies, shows, and comics, along with popular names like Star Wars, Spongebob, Marvel, DC, and Rick and Morty. They have hundreds of different items of clothing to fit your style so that you can feel like you in public, or just around the house. What are you waiting for? Go check out BeautifulHalo.com and use code MEME for 10% off your next purchase. Remember, MEME, I repeat, use code M-E-M-E -E for 10% off your next purchase. Again, a huge thanks to Beautiful Halo for being our sponsor. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe.